Falling on your feet, do you finally see what you're missing? Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm very excited to be here with you today because today it's a very big day for me. Today it's my son's 8th anniversary. So yes, when I'm recording this, we are on February 17th. My little boy is now big boy. He is 8. I have accumulated a lot of things here and there so I have a few things from Sephora, from Drugstore, from Cult Beauty and also from Charlotte Tilbury. So if this sounds interesting just stay tuned because we are going to go into them right now. But before we are starting if you see that my makeup looks horrible you are totally right. So my eyeshadow did not blend well and also I'm not happy about the wings that I did with this shadow and the bronzer I have used this one from Charlotte Tilbury the contour wand and I think it is expired. It went bad because this is not the first time when I'm noticing that it's blending in patches. So everything I put on top didn't look well. I had no time to redo my makeup so please Please excuse, we are our friends here, so your girl is not on her best makeup day. But I just wanted to share quickly what I got from uh, those stores. So maybe I will start with what I have been taking from my local drugstore. So you might have seen that I posted my review for the new Catrice, the Nude Drop Tinted Serum Foundation and the new Nude Invisible Matte Loose powder so i'm not going to spend too much time for those products because i have already a review so the powder is my favorite the tinted serum is also nice but i love the powder more than i was uh, anticipating or maybe i did because i was a very die hard fan of their old formula so i'm happy that now i have a new favorite powder but when i got those two products from rossman i actually got them from another reason. I think I told you on that review but I just deleted because I didn't, want, I didn't want to ramble too much around knowing that I'm going to have a haul. So what happened when I went to purchase that uh, pro those products, uh, Rossman had an offer of 50% to all perfumes. Now they do not have the high-end perfumes, they do not have Chanel, Gucci, but they have mid-range perfumes that are really good. So I ended up purchasing this one from Karl Lagerfeld. So this is the package, the outer packaging. You know that I keep my uh, perfumes in their boxes and this is 100 ml. It will take me a while to go through. So when I first tested this one, it has reminded me of the Narciso Rodriguez Pudre. I have that one also. And by checking the notes on uh, fragrantica.com, I could see that they have similar notes. So I will pop them here on the screen. Now the um, uh, Pudre one from Narciso Rodriguez, um, it's more warm and I, I would say it's more powdery as the name implies. But it reminds me, they both have similar kind of scents and this is more fresh. I can sense the citrus. This has an opening with citrus and white flower and the Narciso Rodriguez I think has also white flower in opening and something else but I will put the notes there because I'm not expert on notes. I'm very happy to have this perfume as my everyday perfume and it's all the perfume so I haven't told you is Flor d'Orchide by Karl Lagerfeld and this is the bad boy that has made me pick on the Coutrice Isle. All right the next product that I purchased from the drugstore is this L'Oreal, or actually this is by El Save, and this the color Vive, 8 second wonder water. <clears throat> and I have heard some of my friends here on YouTube that they swear by this. Now we don't have the one that I've seen they, you have in uh, North America, but we, we still have a few variants. So I got this for colored hair and I only use it once and I thought it's doing a great job. And also I have um, repurchased my all-time favorite hair mousse by Vela Flex or Vela Flex. This is the long lasting flexible hold and I got it in strong in strength four. Usually I go for five but I said I want more flexibility because what happens I have one um, curling paste or something similar from it's not a muse but it's just a curling cream 
perfect sort of from uh, living proof and it's good and my hair looks nice but still i need especially for my um, ingrown hair not for my baby hairs here i uh, can feel a difference when i'm not using my mousse right after i wash my hair that this is bulletproof and my baby hair will not pop in until i wash again my hair so it's just that's why you might see my hair is fluffy because i finished a long time ago this and i don't have other backup and speaking about backup i purchased another backup of course you know that i love this so much this is also from schwarzhof and is the perfect muse foam coloration in the shade 500 which is medium brown I purchased a few products from Sephora after holiday. They had some 30%-ish kind of deal. So I got this eyeshadow palette, which is the Wishing You. It was from the holiday collection. As you can tell, it was discounted 30%. And this, it's around 8 US dollars if I will have to transform those money using the currency converter. And those are the shades. Now, I, I liked the color story. I thought it's everyday appropriate kind of palette but i wasn't impressed with this taupey shade it didn't blend well then i have used this shade to line my eyes and this brush wasn't a good choice because it's more flimsy at the end hence it made the disaster possible so yeah wasn't a very good choice and i'm also not very impressed by where it is this pink shade that I have all over my lid, it has some gold flecks to it, which I could rather be without. So yeah, this is almost invisible. So I was just using this one and the topy one. But I am not happy with the way my uh, makeup looks. Just the only thing that saved the day is the mascara, but it's not enough to cover up. I also purchased this Sephora collection. What is this? It's a clarifying peel pads. We have 60 pads and I got it for a very good deal. So 52 off, 52% off. I haven't opened it yet. I'm yet to try it, but I'm going to report you back. They can be used AM and PM and you know what to do with peeling pads. It just exfoliate your skin. And also I got this set from Rare Beauty. This is the Perfect Strokes eye essentials and they do get of course I, I ripped the package but doesn't matter a full size mascara and a full size liquid liner so I'm not going to open the liquid liner because right now I have another liquid liner and I see that it's also sealed on this packaging which I think it's a genius idea because you know, even the um, liquid liner or mascara, it's in their packaging. The things can um, go in and air can um, destroy the formula. But if it's sealed in plastic, then uh, it stays juicy for a long time. So I have heard good things about this eye pencil or eyeliner. I'm excited to try it. I think I'm going to do a dedicated video for those products and uh, you are going to see them in action very soon and this is the deal with sephora i also was sent this sample from clinic or i pick it up i'm not sure maybe i i pick it up yeah i think i requested for this this is the even better clinical foundation in the shade cn52 probably this is too dark for me but maybe i can test it in days when I don't go out and see how I like the formula. I caved and purchased another product from Westman Atelier. So this is the Baby Cheek Blush Stick. This is the outer packaging. So here you have Gucci Westman and here you have the Westman Atelier. I have a short video for this. I think it's already up and the shade is Shushet. Love it. However, I did not apply it today because you will see why. So it's a very nice peachy kind of shade. Now I'm hunting like other people for the shade pipette, not pipette, petal. So I'm hunting like other people for the shade petal that it's always out of stock or at least do do. And for sure I'm going to get pipette. 
petal or doo-doo when they will come available in stock but i love the fact that look how nice it blends i wore it once or two times already and i'm happy that now i have two products from westman atelier because you remember my contour stick in the shade biscuit so now i have a blush and also from cult beauty because they had an offer if you spend over 60 pounds you get 15 pounds credit back to your account so i have now to spend again to cult beauty hopefully for a shade of this blush for petal so i got this on my life bag this is the l'occitane and this is the almond shower gel Cleansing and softening. Yeah, this is the full size and I remember having this back in time. Actually, we uh, I got it when I first moved in this house five years ago and I just use it sparingly. But I'm just very big fan of this. I use it at that time to shave my legs mostly, but now I don't have so much what to shave on my legs. And I'm also happy to report to you that my um, upper lip area is starting to go there the hair is starting to be less and less visible so yeah i will link the ipl that i'm currently using it is from from you like and i have seen the best results for my face area from that device i have three ipl that i'm using i'm going to have a round up of my all my devices that i've showed you last year but for ipl and especially for the face area the you like is the winner so i have a discount code with them i'm not sure if it's still available and of course they did not ask me to say about this on my video today but i just wanted to give you some updates because i am enjoying it all right the last order that i placed is of course on charlotte tilbury website and everything comes in this personalized package. So we have here the logo and also the paper. It's a la Charlotte Tilbury. And let me show you first the samples. You can pick up three samples and you remember what happened last time when I pick up a sample from one of her products, I ended up purchasing the full size. First is the Magic Serum. I have had this before and like it also i wanted to try this oil i remember wenga's mocking when uh, she launched this he made a really really big deal about this um, product and the claims like skin looks 300 well 11 times more radiant and smoother so we shall see that and the last thing i could pick up is the magic cream and now what i picked up from charlotte i wanted to purchase a blush actually i wanted to get it from cut beauty but the shade that i wanted it wasn't on stock and then i realized that it's only available to her website so i purchased her new blush formula the matte blush this is in the shade pillow talk so it's called pillow talk matte beauty blush wand easy liquid blush and this is the outer packaging I did a swatch so i'm going to insert that because i also have a swatch so i have it on today and guys i want to tell you that this is bulletproof it's like a liquid lipstick once you apply it it sets it sets and doesn't move one thing that it's a little bit bothering is that because it sets also the product that remains on the sponge it will dry so just be careful on that maybe clean your wand after you use it especially if you don't use it every single day but i think i'm going to use it every time i apply my makeup as a base like my friend tracy advised me and if you want to see more swatches of the other shades go visit my tracy my my friend tracy instagram page i'm going to link it down below because she has the other three shades and i actually wanted to purchase something else to get a free shipping and i didn't know what to get it was a discount if you would get those two i think i saved a few euros this is the hollywood beauty light wand in the shade spotlight so it's the only one that i thought i'm going to enjoy it because it's more a champagne shade and no one can uh, forbid you on using this on your eyelids but today i have it on, on and it's very nice now i i'm not a big highlighter fan but i can tell that this is a gorgeous shade 
and blends and looks amazing on the skin. So if you love highlighter and you don't mind splurging on Charlotte Tilbury, I love this one. But yeah, you guys, this is everything I wanted. No, I have something else I all the time forget. I have this box. No, you already saw that I showed you a lot of boxes from Shein, but this is not from Shein. I purchased it from our local Primark and I wanted for I wanted to have it for my desk for my beauty vanity but then I realized that I have no space for it but you know what I'm going to do with this one so if you remove the packaging which I never did inside I can put things you can see through here of course if my ring light will not be so shiny so I was thinking to do like a makeup shop my stash kind of videos and put here the products for a round of shop my stash so expect for those kind of videos on my channel i never did shop my stash but yeah this is everything for today so i want to wish you all a wonderful day ahead don't forget that the most beautiful makeup is your own smile and i'm going to see you really soon with another video bye you guys